guys, back again with another Space Marine Gearing video. Uh, yeah, it's been a it's been a while. It's been a, probably a couple months. Um, been kind of busy doing a little uh, practices and you know different gestures and stuff like that. Um, you know, and then it was Christmas time. Had to spend time with the family. So uh, now I'm getting back to finishing up this video. So um, mainly in this video, it's just gonna be a lot of detailing processes. I'm probably really not gonna be talking that much. Um, I'm just gonna let it go and see what happens and I throw in my input every now and then so let's see if this video on the road so as you can see I'm just like really getting some images reference images I'm using textures a lot in this one um this is when I was really experimenting with different you know uh, adding textures into the into my portrait not my portrait I'm sorry <laughs> into my image and you know just really testing to see how it works and you know when you add in a image or a photo of anything or clouds whatever it doesn't matter what it is you don't want to just leave it in there and just slap it in there and then be like oh that's a it looks like a terrible photoshop job you know so what you really want to do is go back in there and um def you know add colors from your actual image into the photo so it looks like it blends a lot better so even with the ground right there I had like a photo texture and you know I just started adding um, cracks and you know different colors from my image into there you know sometimes it's really hard to speak when this video is going really fast um, as you can see it's like sped up so much so I'm trying to put in as much input as I can while it's speeding through the video. As you can see, uh, I had some little League of Legends going on in the back while I'm painting this video. Oh, while I'm painting this image, actually. doing this one piece I really learned a lot um, just you know from adding contrast to color balance and all different types of things like that like the way the red goes off the blue plays off the blue and stuff like that um yeah so I mean doing like taking your time and doing images like this like really taking your time and going through like the different phases of detail really helps improve yourself you know, as I look back now, like, this is an older piece, you know, I'm like, oh my god, there's so many things that I can see that I can change, you know, but as I was doing it, you know, it seemed really well. There's a little photo of an explosion I had found, just to give it a little better little spice in there, you know, and I play around with the layers, um, the layer styles, you know, there's like overlay and different stuff like that. You should just, when you throw in a photo texture, don't always just go to overlay or multiply, you know. Different uh, settings give different um, different feedback from the image, you know. So um, just play around with it and see what you like before you actually just go to the normal presets of overlay and multiply. Yeah, as I was doing this face too, um, I had a lot of input from one of my friends, and he was like, yeah, it looks like, I mean, it resembles Garen, but his face doesn't really look like a Garen, just because it's covered up, so, um, further down in this video, you're gonna see me change his face up a bit, even though it's a last minute thing, I really don't like doing things last minute, um, most things should be done during the first, you know, hour or two of the image you know you you want to get all the, the fundamentals down and everything down and then you start going into color but this is one of those things that you know it just didn't look right and sit right so and I was already further into the image so I was like you know what I, I gotta change it Right here, I really thought I was done with the image, and that's why I put in my logo. And then I 
this is where I actually start going back and I'm like, uh, I'm not liking the face at all. So, you know, I was, I was start, starting from scratch, starting a new layer on it and then see what I could do. And I'm playing around with this silhouette a little bit more on top of there, see if like I can add something interesting maybe up there. Faces for some reason is a really hard thing for me to do. Um, this takes you know time from painting. See, I'm just trying to construct a face maybe just out of some out of nowhere. It's really not the best method to do, especially since it's so late. So what I did there is copy it and paste it onto a, a new um, image or just like make its own file and upped its uh, DPI just a bit so I can go in there and uh, get some more detail. Just playing around, see what I like, see what works, see what doesn't, you know. His face seemed a little too long or wide, actually, so I just uh, scrunched it up a little bit. Yeah, I kind of want to get the feeling as if he was looking at you, straight at you, so um, you know, I kind of point the eyes towards you in a, in a certain direction. And now as you can see, I'm trying to play with his hair a bit, trying to see what I want. This kind of looked too Dragon Ball Z-ish, so uh, I'm starting to cut it down a little bit. Starting to work better than the last face, I, I think. Even though it's not really as recognizable as Garen, at least he has a face that you can see. Maybe if Garen was a little bit older and meaner, <laughs> this could resemble him just a bit more. But I wanted to get the feeling that, you know, this is a war general. And he's not the happiest person in the world. <laughs> he likes to get things done and likes to blow things up.
kind of has like this scarish thing on the side of his head near his hairline maybe from like in battle kind of got like a feel from avatar and the general from there how he had like three scars on the side of his head i thought it would be pretty cool but i guess right here i'm actually taking it away <laughs> all right so i take that and i paste it in there this is the hard part is actually incorporating in another image and getting all the lighting down properly and fitting it into the actual other image it's the hard part it's just because the other uh, the other photos don't mesh together the lighting's not there correctly you know and it's so it has some work to be done on it so I'll go back in try to add like some bluish hues bouncing off from his armor onto his face move his mouth down a little bit just really playing with everything to see what I like right now I really think it's working a lot better than uh, the other image with his face covered up some things you know when they just don't feel right to you it's really better not to wait until this long but I mean it just was not sitting right so I had to change it and I think it was a better change There he goes, and I decided to add that back in, the little scars on the side of his face. Or maybe not. <laughs> oh yeah, my friend had told me also too, um, that his hair was actually blown the wrong way. You know, if explosions come and your hair wouldn't be blown toward the explosion, it would be blown away from it. So, um, I had to make a little change on that, too. This is one of those little things that you don't really notice when you're doing it until you really look back and you're like, oh yeah, that makes a lot more sense. Remember, I'm not really doing this video all in one succession. This is uh, many videos compiled together. Um, this whole video alone took maybe, I mean, this whole image actually took maybe eight to, to ten hours. Um, just because, you know, I'm st well, when I did this image, you know, I was still getting a feel of everything, my process, and how I want to do things, you know, so this is taking it to another you know taking it to the detail step the detail step is normally the longest step so I was just really experimenting a lot in this one but even now most of my images take around like six to ten hours to complete you can see the old face to the new face from just then kind of maybe thought I went a little overboard on the explosion in the back but I think it came out pretty cool it really gives that feeling of stuff happening things blowing up and that, that's what I wanted to feel um, as you can see right here I'm trying to make this chain brush right here um, I kind of wanted to give him like a, a better silhouette or, you know like a better armor silhouette on him so I added these little chain links connecting his armor to his chest piece and I uh, just turns it up a little bit 
And I decided to give him like this little core in the center of his chest. Some power core, you know, kind of like Iron Man in a sense, but um, just to change it up, give it a, another little light. And add, you know, it kind of focuses your eye towards him first and then the explosion since it's a higher uh, saturation and it's a lot brighter than the actual explosion in the back so what it does is it basically gives a better flow of the image um, when I showed a couple people you know they said that their eyes were getting attracted to the explosion in the back first and then going to him but I wanted to I wanted your eye to focus on him and then slide down the sword looking at the explosion So, um, adding like little lights and stuff like that in higher uh, saturation areas really help lead the eye to where you want it to go. I'm trying to play around with different highlights on this here from the, the blue light. Even though color is not one of my strongest points, I uh, you know it's always good to you know test your your limits and your boundaries. There is actually no limits, but you know just test to see how far you are along the line. And see where you can, where you need to progress. Color has always been uh, one of the problems I had uh, when I was growing up. You know, just doing drawings and stuff like that. I never really liked using color. I like just using pencil and drawing like that. But you know, it's one of those things that you really have to get past if you really want to be a, a better artist. And I really don't think I'm 100% there with color, but, you know, just keep working at it. As you can see, I'm playing around with the old image to the new image. I made his head a little bit bigger felt like it was just a tad bit too small and some more highlights with a soft brush giving his face a little bit of redder uh, hue to it and setting an overall tint on overlay for that for the image and this video has come to an end finally I have finished uh, the Space Marine gear in series um, I will be having another video out shortly actually it's gonna be a life drawing video um, just to show some more of my process on doing like moods and using color and the way that I go about doing things um, expect that soon actually and thank you for checking out my video don't forget to check out my blog at sidemessiahartz.tumblr.com and keep tuned for more videos thank you